A new investigation into the dangers of sports supplements has found school students should be taught about the dangers of workout powders. The months-long investigation has revealed supplement manufacturers are conducting what experts call science experiments on users to boost sales. Joining us live with more is journalist Jamie Panoram, who's led the investigation with Code Sports. Jamie, appreciate you making the time. Thank you. Just tell us, how young are we seeing kids starting to, to get into these drinks? Uh, as young as 14, um, we've found out that kids as young as 15 are, are already on steroids um, and essentially what tends to happen is uh, they're training, they're using these sports supplements, um, wanting quicker results, um, graduating to stronger supplements and then eventually some of them are taking that risk and um, sourcing, you know, steroids, peptides. Uh, it's a real danger. Uh, years ago, they conducted a, a study at a Melbourne high school of 20, 240 boys. Half of them were using um, protein powders. Uh, many more were using um, stronger supplements, including creatine. I think a lot of people would be familiar with that as a muscle booster. And 4% at that stage said that they'd already tried steroids. Um, we know Sport Integrity Australia is um, gravely concerned about the supplements industry. Um, they're trying to crack down on it as much as they can. The tough part about it is that there's many different layers of authority. So um, the Thera Therapeutic Goods Adm Administration uh, can monitor some of it and they've taken some steps um, to uh, have greater regulatory authority on some high-risk um, items. But the general protein powder falls under the food um, regulatory bodies. So they are, in fact, conducting science experiments. What they're doing is having really confusing labelling um, and not telling you exactly what item or ingredient is in there and how much of it is in there. So you have these young teenage people obviously, you know, um, in this environment of social media where they want to look lean and ripped um, and attractive and they're doing whatever it takes to get that quick fix um, without knowing that the stuff that they're putting in their bodies uh, could be, um, have um, an allergic reaction. Um, some of the products um, have carcinogens in them. So, yeah, it's really dangerous territory and, you know, I think we need a unified approach from school sports coaches um, to apply this education in schools and, and curriculums across the country because this is not something that is a fad that will disappear in two or three years. Uh, the supplement industry is here to stay. It's a billion dollar industry, multi-billion dollar industry and um, you know our teenagers are going to be more and more compelled to try things to get quick results. And when we look at trying to get quick results, I understand there's a trend where some people are taking these powders without any liquid, which sounds pretty revolting to me, but I guess more seriously, it has pretty severe impacts in terms of the way the body digests these supplements and, and I assume longer health impacts as well. Yeah, I couldn't believe this. I'm not all up on the TikTok trends. Um, so, uh, you know, this was news to me when I found out about it. So uh, it started off uh, in the American bodybuilding scene. And what they were doing is essentially taking these really powerful protein powders dry and then sort of washing it down slowly for a quicker hit. Um, and what that does apparently is just get you, um, your body used to a really hard workout much quicker. The, the problem is that these powders have gone from 10 years ago having about 80 milligrams of caffeine in a scoop to now 350 milligrams of caffeine. And that is the equivalent to eight to 10 cups of coffee. Kids as young as 14 and 15 who have never drunk coffee are having this, and they're now are dry scooping it into their bodies. Uh, the experts we spoke to have seen children uh, on the gym faint, um, have convulsions, and more worryingly, uh, three to four years later are starting to develop kidney, liver, and heart problems. Um, there is a real danger that over the next five to ten years we're going to have an epidemic of people presenting to hospitals and clogging up our health system with kidney, lung, heart issues um, because they've been using these potent supplements um, wrongly and uh, have been pressured to try and get so much quick, quicker results, um, you know, which we know uh, is unnatural and yet um, kids 
uh, going in there believing that they can transform their bodies in, in two to three months. And the supplement industry is encouraging that thought. You mentioned that sometimes we don't actually know what the exact ingredients are in these sort of supplements. I understand that some of these powders, when they are tested, they're found to include banned substances as well. Yeah, and it's tripped up some of our top athletes as well. So um, one in five uh, supplements that you find in the supermarket now will have traces of drugs that if you're tested by WADA will get you in trouble. You, 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 you'll put out a positive test for a banned substance. Uh, because again, they're able to get away with such misleading labels. Um, you know, one of the athletes we've featured, um, a marathon runner, went and sourced legal supplements at the store, checked it, um, checked everything that was on the list, still tested positive, received a ban, um, and now she's working with Sport Integrity Australia. Um, it took a massive toll on her. But what they're doing is um, getting away with um, essentially writing like a, a parent uh, ingredient rather than the specific ingredient that's a derivative of that. Um, I'll, I'll try and explain it like uh, if we talk about capsin like in chili and you've got you know a bird's eye chili or you've got a ghost pepper um, extremely different levels of potency but if all you've got is chili on the label um, you have no idea how strong it is and how it will react to your body and this is what the supplement companies are doing and so therefore you're not knowing if you are going to test positive or not sport integrity australia now has an app for every professional athlete in australia so they can actually check to see, and it's been updated, um, to check to see if they're going to get into any strife. Um, that side of it is moving along a lot quicker than what we see with the average supplement that is sourced by um, those who just uh, are training, um, the, our junior athletes and those who are looking to get quick results at the gym. Jamie Panoram, really appreciate you explaining all that to us. A real eye-opener there for parents and grandparents who might have kids in their lives starting to dabble in this sort of stuff. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. No worries.